Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to FF10. And we need to get our Mario on today, guys, because Yuna has been kidnapped by the Albed Sykes. So the Aurochs will throw their game, and we're going to make sure that that does not happen. Because they really did choose the wrong people to deal with here. I wonder if they knew that... Huzzah! I don't think that they realized who they were dealing with in terms of Yuna being a summoner and all of us being her guardians. So let's go ahead and get our cheer on, and Lulu will come in very handy here. Let's see if there's anything we can steal from them. That does not seem to be the case. Well, if they hate lightning. I got the cure for him. Bam. That was effective. Holy crap. Because they don't really take a whole lot of damage otherwise. And this is the only party that we have are these three. Because Waka's playing the game and Yuna is otherwise occupied. And we got some sphere grid action going here. And let's get Kamari's magic increased by three. Because we're still trying to get her or get him over to uh Riku's sphere grid here. And where is our Yeah, we got a long way to go, but it's alright. We'll get there. Fortunately, we've already explored all the docks. So we can just make a beeline. Right to where the Albed ship is. And we can't run from any of, any of these battles. Not that we really would want to, but... Now that we know that Lancet does, or Lancet doesn't work... We don't have to do it anymore and can just commence to the slashing. And I love how they change their footing depending on situation. I think that's cool. And this one's a little bit tough, it looks like. Wait, oh, two? You know what? Go, little cactar. It's adorable. And Lulu has leveled up. We're getting a lot of high potions here, too, so that's good. Get her some much-needed HP. For our Black Mage. Because I don't think anything else has really changed. Now, I believe this is the Doc. Yeah. Get everyone nice and cheerful. Good dodge there, Titus. At least we got that one-shot kill with Lulu here. And they are just laying the smack down on Kamari. Eh. They do a little bit of a hurting, but we got plenty of potions, so. Not that big of a deal. Ooh, Kamari actually grunted. That's rare. And let's overkill. dead were expecting us. Well, maybe they were very aware of who uh, Yuna was. And we have to remember, we don't have any heals here. 
We are dealing only in potion healing. So, let's go ahead and get our giant kitty feeling better. They seem to be focusing more on Kimari. Fortunately, they're not really attacking Lulu, which is strange, considering the fact that she's the one who can one-shot them. Not complaining, mind you. And due to the fact that we just changed pos our position there, means that that was the end of this fight, I think. Yep, good stuff. Ooh, we got some X potions, too. Let's see how the game's going. The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Two to two. Oh, he'll feel that one in the morning. Ah, but the referee doesn't call the foul. Waka's taking a real beating out there. I figure getting knocked out underwater would be a really huh. bad thing. Still in there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Let right? Go. Lulu's got no faith in the Waka. All right, let's see what we have to deal with here. Stop that ship, please. Let's go. Superior jumping power. Wonder how Lulu can jump in that dress of hers. Oh yeah, this prick. This is like their trainer, I think. It shoots blitz balls. Alright, cool. That is what we need to try and do. Activate Crane. It doesn't have any power, though, at the moment, but... Come on, move. It's probably out of power. Which means... That we're gonna have the Obliterator. I see what you did there. So let's go ahead and shoot this with lightning and get it going. Give it a jump. Crane seems to respond. Cool. Well, let's just keep hitting this until we can get the crane going. Ew. Line ball. It's not going to work right now. So... Oh, is that just a... Ew! That's not nice at all. Get it going. I think we need to do it like one more time. But... Fortunately we got some eye drops here so that'll take care of blindness. Some good old Final Fantasy Visine. Still not going to work though. It's probably out of power. Yeah, it needs one more casting. It's like revving a lawnmower. There we go. That's the rumble I need to see. Um, right now, let's go ahead and top off Kamari's tank. And now we'll use the crane. It's like playing uh, the crane games at arcades and movie theaters. I'm kind of obsessed with those in real life. I love to play those. I have no need for stuffed animals of any way, shape, or form, but... Ooh, that did a lot of damage. 
I like that. Now, with 351 to go... Let's finish him off. I like that. It kind of shows that Yuna doesn't really need a hero, in a sense. Thunder Moomba. I hope you hurt them. <laughs> Hello. What is it? There were these all bad that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship, and even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship, but it's not. Wonder how he could tell. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I remember now. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there? Anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm hmm. Wait. So that means you're Al Bed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh. Yeah. Time's a wasting. Send up the flare. Now the ship that that Riku was on had like an awning with a bunch of cargo on deck. So. 30 seconds left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive. That's a bold move, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. Very nice. He shoots. Unbelievable. The Aurochs win the match 3 to 2. And they didn't need Titus, which is awesome. We won. We did it. We're in the finals. Not the most graceful win. If it was Chapu He'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> you are in danger. Well, Yuna's been rescued, that's good. And that also explains her, her dual heritage, is why I believe one eye is a different color. I'll have these crates moved in no time, sir. So this way must have been blocked, um, if we had tried to go this way. That makes sense. That way we'd have to fight all those mobs. But that's really cool because that gets that losing stigma off the Oryx back. Like even without the star player of the Xanarkin Abes there. Sure you alright, Captain? 
The game starts in a few minutes. You sure you okay? Just some broken ribs. We're playing the gores too. <clears throat> Miss me? Lady Yuna, are you okay? All this because of me. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, how can you let some outbed kidnap you? Hey, let it go, all right? Don't go near outbed anymore, okay? They trouble. <laughs> Really makes you think what's gonna happen when Waka meets Riku or finds out about Yuna's lineage. So Kamari's gonna make sure that Yuna doesn't leave his sight. Let's go ahead and explore. Oh crap, we can't. So it is indeed game time. They're giving us an opportunity to talk a little bit beforehand. Please, don't tell anyone about Yuna's lineage. Yeah, you got that. Yuna will be watching, gotta play hard. Now, if I remember, he's actually the weak link. Keepa is. He is not a very good Keepa. Who's warm in the bench? Could it be me? Yeah, they're all upset. Now, if I talk to Waka, I believe that starts the Blitzball game, and that's going to be an entire episode in itself, guys. We're running a little bit light here. Uh, last minute, but you want to go over the rules. Sure. Trying to remember here. Moving, action commands, passing, shooting, using HP, encounters, breakthroughs, tech copy, stats... Status ailments, techniques, game modes. Now, let's just go ahead. I just kind of need to see the refresh. In Blitzball, there are five players per team in the spear pool. All right, so up there on the top right-hand side, you see HP, endurance, passing, and shoot. I remember now. So... The HP is how much you have to use special abilities. The endurance is how hard you can take a shot, and you may be taking on multiple people, so you have to kind of choose wisely if you want to get hit by them or not, because it does lower your endurance per encounter. Your passing, that's kind of self-explanatory. If you pass and someone decides to block the shot, if they have a higher passing or a higher um, block, they can potentially uh, intercept the ball and shooting it's your shooting strength against the goalies and I believe as you pass and shoot the more distance it covers your passing and shooting actually goes down so the closer you are to someone the better the overhead map shows all players current positions and the direction each is facing here only one team is shown on the field Titus is carrying the ball now you can see who's carrying the ball there on the radar. Alright, pretty self-explanatory. Getting a lot of memories just flooding back. It may seem confusing at first, but it's actually quite simple. Uh-huh. By default, player movement is set to auto, so everyone moves around the pool automatically. I, I, I wasn't a fan of that, I remember. Use the overhead map to check the player's positions. That's the opposing goal. And I believe there's a way to switch this to manual movement. Let's try moving the ball carrier manually. Stellar. Just getting a little bit of knowledge here before we get into the game. Press Y. Manual A. And now I'm actually controlling Titus, not the computer. Head to the goal. Excellent. 
all other players stay on auto. That sucks. I really wish I could, like, move everyone. But, note that it becomes harder to manage your teammates while manually controlling the carriers. This mode is recommended for veteran blitzers. I may have to switch back and forth between, yeah, look at these guys, like chickens with their heads come off, or heads cut off. So I may have to use the auto movement in certain situations. Hmm. Get a feel for both modes. Yeah. So like if I'm here, if I'm close to the goal, I'd switch to uh, manual. Otherwise, auto would probably be the way to go. Um, in manual A mode, the direction of movement corresponds to the overhead map. Manual A, there's a also a mode called manual B. Stick with auto movement for now. Movement modes are only applicable when you're on offense. When you're on defense, your entire team moves on auto. Hmm. I wonder what manual B is. Now, everything else here, I think I have a good um, handle on. I guess we'll find out in the next episode, guys, because we are going to have our match against the Luka Goers. And we have the Jack shot, which is awesome, but I don't remember getting that during the first half. Because we have to do, like, a level up or something. But I'll go ahead and save the game, and we will see you guys next time. If you liked the video and Yuna's Rescue, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.